friends in this video i have come with uh, most probable topics for gate exam and the subject is control system and uh, the branch is electronics and communication so for electronics and communication which topics are very important uh, from the subject control system let us check so here control system here I start the first topic that is Masson's gain formula and block reduction technique so blocks can be given there in uh, some form like uh, summation and all and all so we have to decide uh, by using some techniques block reduction techniques there are so many properties by using those properties we have to minimize the blocks and uh, finally find out the transfer function one more thing that we can we used to be asked in the exam is related to signal flow graph some signal flow graph will be given means there will be so many loops and all and the every gain for each part will be given so we have to find out the loop gain and uh, uh, other parameters and finally we have to apply the Masson's gain formula for finding out the overall overall transfer function and the famous formula summation pk del k divided by del so this for using this formula we can uh, find out the transfer function so uh, on this topic uh, the, uh, in previous gate exam various question has been asked so it is very important for the upcoming exam as well so uh, learn these topics at least now come to the next topic that is a uh, second order system and for the second order system the damping ratio for a given transfer function can be asked rise time we all know that for a second order system the system can be of this form 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square so here zeta is the damping ratio we all know omega n is the natural frequency this is zeta is the damping ratio we know and this is uh, omega n omega n part only not a square is given natural frequency so sometimes the transfer function can be given and uh, we have we may have to find out the uh, damping ratio sometimes the um, by using damping ratio we have to find out the transfer function so this type of question can be there rise time okay fine for the given transfer function we have to decide the rise time we have to decide the settling time so many formula famous formula are given for settling time uh, two percent tolerance and five percent tolerance we all know the formulas so this this type of formulas can be asked in the uh, coming year exam and steady state error very important topic again ESS will be what what will the value of steady state error maximum peak overshoot uh, but means using this uh, zeta and omega and value we can find out these uh, values rise time settling time maximum peak overshoot uh, steady state error and uh, now other topic that is important is critically damped which for which of the transfer function is critically damped which of the transfer function is over damped so uh, depending upon the value of zeta we can decide that it, if it is zeta equals to zero then it is uh, of course an undamped system no any damping is there if uh, greater than one then over damped and uh, less than one under damped so this type of relation used to be as it equals to one then uh, critically damped so we must learn and we must do some questions related to these topics at least and second order system now come to the next topic and that is Rout stability criteria and a very famous topic and uh, frequently the questions has been asked from this one and very easy to solve a route table is formed and then we have to decide uh, whether the system is stable or not so we all know that if there is a change in the uh, sign of this means if, if there is plus 2 there is minus 2 if change in sign in the numerical values then it the, it will be called that there, it is not a stable system then after the question can be that how many number of poles in right half plane how many number of poles in left half plane so depending upon these uh, positive and negative sign changes we can decide we can uh, the question can be also that at which frequency the system is uh, oscillating so so when it comes 0 0 at a uh, certain situation then at that time the system becomes oscillating and we can decide the uh, frequency at that point so using route table um, the so many questions has been asked in the previous grade exam and all of them are important for the upcoming exam as well because it's most probable topic of control system now come to the root locus plot 
again this is also an important topic and for a given root locus uh, we can uh, it has been asked that what will be the breakaway point what is the break in point or uh, for a given transfer function we have to draw the root locus as well so plotting of root locus is also important sometimes on real uh, real axis where the roots lies like on uh, left to the odd number of poles and zeros we all know that if there is two poles then after this you no know, there will be no any uh, root locus between them there can be the root locus so this type of properties uh, we must know uh, because questions used to be asked from this topic uh, one more thing that is centroid asymptotes uh, how we can find out the centroid how we can find out the asymptotes angle of uh, the asymptotes finally so this type of topics are very important and the root locus plotting is important for the exam point of view because it is easy to learn as well as uh, very easy to uh, check the options by using some properties uh, of root locus plot now come to the next uh, part transfer function using border plot in border plot we will uh, we most of the time body plots used to be given and for that we have to uh, find out the transfer function mostly the question used to be like this so we must prepare the question similarly means we know that if there is a minus 20 db uh, per decade slope then there must be a pole if uh, it becomes a 0 db per decade at certain points then there must be a, a 0 because uh, after this it has its slope has been become 0 so this type of things this type of properties uh, used to be asked in the get exam questions next topic that is important is gain margin and phase margin very important uh, for a given transfer function gain margin can be asked phase margin can be asked gain crossover frequency we all know when uh, the gain crosses uh, means when g is equals to 1 or gh whatever the transfer function is equals to 1 at that frequency at that frequency the gain crossover exists phase crossover frequency of course at the point the angle phase uh, is at the at, at that omega at which angle of phase becomes 180 degree so that is the phase crossover frequency so um, by checking the phase crossover frequency and gain crossover frequency we can further determine the gain margin and phase margin just gain margin we all know 1 upon gs and uh, phase margin we all know 180 degree plus whatever the angle that we find out at the gain crossover frequency so we must learn these topics and now come to the other important topics that is uh, Nyquist plot of course and in Nyquist plot most of the time the question used to be of stability criteria that for the given Nyquist, Nyquist plot whether the system is stable or not or sometimes it has been, it may be asked as well that how many uh, right half poles are there for the given uh, Nyquist plot if the system is stable so we must know the stability criteria for the Nyquist plot that we all know is equal to P minus Z that is number of encirclements of minus 1 plus j0 point uh, for given uh, open loop poles and uh, zeros of characteristic equation z is zeros of characteristic equation gain margin and phase margin also can be asked for the given nyquist plot so this type of things we must learn and do some problems uh, related to that now come to the controller part and the compensator part of course all the three com controller are important all the three compensators are important because uh, in in exam mostly it has it is used to be as that which of the following is a pd controller which of the following is a pi controller and so on similarly for which of the following is lag or lead compensator and one more thing that can be asked that how the other properties like a steady state error or maximum peak overshoot or rise time these are being affected due, due to applying these controllers so those type of properties we must learn as well uh, now come max oh one more important topic uh, related to the lag lead com lag or lead compensator is that we have to find out the maximum phase angle or uh, frequency at which the maximum phase angle exists for a given lag compensator sign fm formula uh, we all know that is 1 minus alpha upon 1 plus alpha where uh, alpha is nothing but 1 plus t upon 1 plus alpha t can be al alpha can be uh, greater than 1 or less than 1 for lag or lead compensator so this formula is very important 
uh, for the exam point of view now come to the another topic that is state transition matrix every year the question has been asked from this topic so we must prepare this topic with uh, greater attention because every year the question has been asked from this topic and uh, controllability and observability used to be asked after determining the uh, state transition matrix so the signal flow graph may be given and after that we have we will have to form the uh, state transition matrix A and B values and uh, later by uh, um, forming the matrix controllability matrix B A B and uh, observability matrix C C A in this form we can decide whether uh, this is uh, controllable function or not this is observable from uh, system or not so this is uh, th uh, this is uh, the list of the important topics that is for control system for get exam for electronics and communication that may be asked in the upcoming exams because uh, as per the analysis most of the time 80 percent of the questions has been asked from these topics uh, or more than 80 percent even in control system i have found out that uh, approximately 90 percent of the question has been asked from these topics only so uh, every get aspirants must do these topics and uh, prepare well before the exam so uh, thank you so much for watching i will uh, keep uploading this type of videos in the, on the same channel and that is a student mode letter so subscribe our channel and keep watching thank you so much